guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. Today we're going to be doing a recap of 2018 this past year and I'm basically going to be doing the things that you've seen on Instagram stories where people post pictures about every month. I'm going to be doing that in a video form so if you would like to see that keep watching this video if you're annoyed by it don't watch it. <laughs> I know some people are annoyed with the Instagram thing. But anyways, without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. Twenty eighteen went by so fast, but there is a lot of great lessons that I learned, a lot of amazing things that happened, highs, lows, all those things. I'm gonna be sharing all of those with you today. So let's get started. I started off this year, actually this whole year, really. I've just been, as you probably can tell on my channel, getting into makeup a lot more. It's something I really enjoy doing now. I watch tutorials all the time and I just love learning about products, learning about techniques, all those different things. I love that and I just think makeup is an awesome art. <laughs> that I'll enjoy doing. In January, we have our annual conference at my church. It's called Fire in the Valley, and we didn't have one in 2017, so people didn't really know what to expect as far as 2018 goes, but it was extremely powerful for Alec and myself. It was so good. For me, it was super awesome because I was just exiting out of a very sad and lonely place and it just really helped me get out of that along with some other things so that conference was really powerful and we're having it again so I started making some friends at school because I started college in the winter quarter so it started in November of 2017 and ended in February of 2018 so I started making some friends around the January February time which was very fun. <laughs> in March is when Alec and I officially took over at our youth group, Authentic Youth Movement. So now we do all by ourselves. We lead it all by ourselves, which is crazy. But in March, we led our first trip and we took 12 youth students to Santa Cruz, which it was fun, but it was very, very difficult. And I made a lot of mistakes on the planning side of things. So... It was difficult, but at least it turned out okay and everyone had a fun time. As the months went on, Alec and I watched some of our friends get married. We watched youth students walk out in their callings and we really helped each other grow. I mean, we always do that, but we, you know, you know. In May, Alec and I got to go to Disneyland with some of our friends and that was so fun because I haven't been to Disneyland with friends. I've only been with families, so that was a really fun trip to do, you know, as an adult. <laughs> in May, we had a fundraiser at Authentic, and it ended with Alec having to shave his beard. And this is a highlight for me because no one really liked how he looked without a beard. He just looked younger without a beard. So that's why it's a highlight of the year, I guess. I don't know. The summer is the busiest time for youth ministry. If you're in youth ministry, then you know this because the students are out of school. So we do a lot of things to keep our students entertained, keep them at the church, all these things. So we do summer games, which is basically just teams, games, points, prizes, just all that type of thing. We also have an internship, so I have to plan for that. And we also have house parties, which are just life groups at people's houses and things like that. So it's a lot of planning in the summer. Things actually pick up for me in the summer rather than slow down. This last summer, I also started teaching piano lessons and babysitting and tutoring and all these little things just because I needed to make some money for school. So I did all these little side jobs just to start saving and all of those things. So I was super busy with that as well. In May, I finished my first year of college and we ended with a choir performance, which was so much fun to be a part of. I even got a solo in it, which I was not expecting, but it was really fun. In June, my family moved down the street because my brothers wanted to be in the district, I guess you would call it, for a certain school, but we were in the district for the other school. So we moved so that we could be in that district. 
in June. I met my best friend Lacey over the summer and I'm so glad that I met her. She is such a gem but we just started hanging out over the summer. We ended our summer with a trip to Oregon with my family and Alec as well in August and we went to visit my grandparents and my aunt and uncle and cousins who all live in Oregon so we went on a trip for a week and we stayed in this beautiful beach house which was so much fun and super relaxing. I started college again in the fall and I was taking 13 units which is what I normally take but this quarter it was really really hard to do because I was going on a trip and I had to do the extra work to make up for all the school that I was missing while I was going on my trip so I had to work the double amount of school if that makes sense if you're in college you probably understand what I'm saying yeah Annabelle's sweet 16 was in September that's one of our youth leaders and the reason why this is a highlight for me is because I got to wear my favorite prom dress <laughs> the only one that I saved and that's really the only reason I just love that dress so I was really excited to wear it this last fall we launched something at authentic called authentic sisterhood and it's just a place where girls can connect with one another, we can grow in Christ and grow as godly women. So we had an event in the fall and it was super successful. We also had one in the beginning of December. So I'm really excited for that. It's something I've been dreaming about doing for a long time and I'm finally getting to see it come to pass. Alec and I started going to football and volleyball games a ton. I started working out a lot, which I still do. I still work out three times a week, so I was continuing to lead youth. I was continually working these side jobs, and I was doing the double amount of work for school. And all of this really began to burn me out. If you don't know what that phrase means, it basically means where you're just working so much and you can't do anything anymore. You just can't get out of bed, you have no motivation, and that's how I was starting to feel by October. Luckily, in the middle of October, me and my mom already had a trip planned to go to Kenya, where my aunt and uncle were staying because they are having their first baby, and we wanted to help them out with the whole delivery process and like transitioning to be a mom process. So in the middle of October, we left on a plane, just me and my mom, and we flew all the way to Kenya, and we stayed with my aunt and uncle for about a week and a half. I love traveling so much because it just helps me learn so much about me, and it helps me learn so much about the world and Jesus and all of these great things. So this trip was definitely needed for where I was at at the time. On our way back, we spent a few days in London with an intentional layover because we wanted to check it out. So we stayed in London, and we just got to explore. When we got back from our trip, it was Halloween, so I had a ton of festivities planned. I went to a corn maze with our youth leaders, and when we went to the corn maze, I dressed up as Mike Wazowski, and we had a Halloween party also for Authentic, and at that Halloween party, me and Alec dressed up as Jim Pam. If you don't know this, my birthday is the day after Halloween, so we had a little family birthday party for me, and... Alec also took me to this really fancy dinner, which was too much, but he's just so nice and he didn't have to do that. A week after my birthday, I ended up cutting my hair a lot and dyeing it, and it turned out silver for the first few days and then that faded, and I actually am thinking about doing the silver again. I don't know if I will, but I really want to. <laughs> youth convention was in November and we ended up taking 31 students to youth convention. It's just a conference aimed towards youth students in our area and that trip was so much better than the Santa Cruz trip and I was really happy with how that trip turned out. Also in November, me and Alec went with our friends Justin and Selena. We went to see Tori Kelly and she is so good. She's so much better live than she is on recording, which is absolutely amazing. So it was phenomenal. Then we had Thanksgiving, aka my favorite holiday, and me and Alec got to have two meals, one at my house and one at his family's house, so that was pretty good. Then all the Christmas festivities happened, so we had tons of Christmas parties, Christmas Eve service, all these crazy things, and then we just had our New Year's Eve party for Authentic, and that was on New Year's Eve. 
obviously. And that was the end of 2018. I'm doing this video just because it's fun for me to look back on and just see the highlights of my year. So that's why I'm doing this video. But I hope you enjoyed hearing about it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me because I would love to do those for you. So that is the end of this video. I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye, guys.